Welcome back to Bear With Me. Now in the last episode some crazy shit happened. This world's fucked up, some other bullshit, and we stole his batteries. Now it's time to go to the bathroom. Just so you guys know, I've been straight up recording this back to back. <laughs> I haven't had a break yet, and we're like three videos in? Yep. Alright. Bathtub. You should really know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. It's in the just cabinet? one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting you about know, for, it, for really. the hundredth time over, over these videos, this art style is amazing. I love it. I don't know what these are for, but I'm not allowed to take them. It tastes terrible anyways. Paracetamol, Viagra. Just some stuff I don't really care about. Uh, nah, morphine. I'm pretty as it is. She's gonna say some more a bullshit. Waterfall. I feel like a lot of these are waterfall based. Maybe in our world, a happy little bush lives there, just sitting there between light and dark shades of blue. Is that a Bob Ross reference? Yes. Cascading waterfall. Sorry, I need to look at that one again. Maybe in our world, a happy little bush lives there. Just sitting there between light and dark shades of blue. Bob Ross. ruins of an ancient I miss Bob Ross. A painting of something or another. It's Eee. too small to tell. Can we take a shit? Where's the money, Lebowski? Lol. Classic TP found in most bathrooms. What's there left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? Uh... A painting on the floor. Trying to get out of town, eh? You owe money to the art community. Listen here, man. I'll cut you a deal. I'll take on your debt and pay those money-grubbing watercolor pushers. Maybe I'll call you on your debt sometime. Maybe not. What do you say? Eats living on the run. She is incredibly witty for a ten-year-old. Every time I look at it, I see a beautiful princess. She's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies. Can you please get your head from your own fucking ass? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, Kill him a fucking you are self in this right? Like for toads. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? Whoa. Used for not washing your face, cause water is gross in the morning. That was not you dirty bitch. It's a trash can. Surprisingly, it's full of trash. I'm not going through trash. It's just my work ethic. But there could be something important no, in there, you idiot. But nice try, mom. Used to clean around the house. Used by oh so many French maids. Oh, so that's good for uh, this duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Just in case, because it's we're on a case, full yeah. Of uninteresting stuff. How'd you know you haven't fucking opened it? Pairs of towels just hanging out. Is there anything in here? It's just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. So there's actually nothing in here that we can use. Let me try the toilet Where's again. Where's the money, Lebowski? Used for not washing your face, cause water is gross in the morning. So what the fuck? Alright, let's try those towels. Fun fact, if you stuff a bunch of them down the toilet and flush, the water will overflow and the repair guy will come to fix it. He will also complain about the economy and how he has to work on Sundays. I don't blame him. Just some stuff I don't really care about. Is there actually nothing in here? I've clicked on everything. Paintings, bathtub, uh, toilet paper. So we the mirror. Can we talk to the mirror again? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for toads. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? See, I think what's going on here is her head is so far up her own ass that it's popped out the top and she looks like a normal person again. So there's actually nothing in here after all of that. Ooh. 
What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night, and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. <laughs> hey, some fucking light trick. Let me just, uh, let me just quick check on Giraffe Woman. I think I'm going to make this a longer episode because I'm sick of uh, pressing the reset every 20 minutes. Be careful, you two. Okie dokie. I'll just check and see if you're still alive. Yeah, is that open? Wait, it's locked. Still locked. We're gonna find it in Rusty. Please don't be a dead Rusty. I know. Can we uh can we talk to him? Oh he's asleep, I forgot. Are your parents not banging yet? There yep. should be a key around here somewhere, unless someone took it. Is it in the couch? For when you get tired of Alright, let's go back in here. Oh yeah, to get rid of the cobwebs. This hole leads to go in, Ted. I'm sorry. See, it's a. Yeah, we know the joke. Duster, duster on hole. That's yeah, so it. You dust my hole. There we go. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure, you would. A ten-year-old could fit through that hole easily. Because the bear's nearly the same size as you anyway. Oh, maybe jump then. The case was spinning out of control. So fast I had to hold under my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Miller, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years. We've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole in the city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off. But the stakes were never as high as now. Mmm, steak. Oh, I thought that was the end, so we're on to a second, uh, second bit His there. pants, neatly folded and thrown over the closet. A level six sword. Hmm, it has higher damage than my gun. <laughs> I'm more of a range guy myself. Maybe I can sell it at the shop. <gasps> the shops in this game. Let's take that. I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. Lol. Just pants, neatly folded So many cool fucking... References in this game. Storage space reserved for various miscellanea. A book titled Half Life 3. Oh, I bet it's fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely uh, useful. They're going to get themselves taken off Valve for that one. Off uh, Steam, sorry. It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I get it right? 
empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will my they ever ass. become a book? Nope, they're going to my ass. Empty sheets. Will they ever... Hard shell on the outside, sweet on the inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? Yeah. I have no clue what that is. A wild guess. It's a single copper dime with a printing error. Unique. Extremely rare. Not as valuable as one might think. It reminds me of a cocktail recipe. Add two, three ice cubes. Pour some liquor over them. Mix it in your stomach. Repeat. I call it the Ted <laughs> trademarked. Yeah. A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. Uh, I don't look like any car I've ever seen, so... An empty box. Just think of the possibilities. You can stick yourself in it. The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. A la map? No, that's not right. It's a lamp. L-A-M-P. Depicting oh, yeah. colors contained by various forms and shapes. So I don't want to click on these two yet, because I'm sure it's going to take me to the next bit. It looks highly cuttable. Is that a word? Cuttable? Wait, 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 wait. Are they hiding shit under there? Oh. Sorry I fucked up your bed. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. Is it a monkey? Roses in a field? An orange? I'm really bad at appreciating art. Yep, works out. Someone, ahead. somewhere, put their soul and moderate effort into making this. Really, Samba's not I here to go and fucking half an hour a bit each painted. Can't fix. That's a red cloth full. I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Oh, that's why I was supposed to cut it down so I could reach it. It's got drawers. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game before the game. It <laughs> would be to search the drawers for clues, but I'm not going to do that. I have my reasons. Uh, that's Low lives. Them. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop! We didn't do it! And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. <laughs> depends on what? If we did uh, whatever you such hinted that we did, voice. or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> this is going nowhere. <laughs> if you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Red Man. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Uh... Tell me what you know, and the next time the Reef King asks me about you two, I'll forget about your whereabouts. We sorted it out with the shark, Snoop. We started Shit. a nice little enterprise with them. See, me and John John here have a way with the tourists. The deal is to take them on a nice little tour around our beautiful city that ends in his gambling house. There are numerous attractive locations scattered throughout the city, but sometimes... You just have to go that extra mile if you want to experience it the way the locals do. For instance, there's a lovely little deli store just off of Peril Street, halfway down to the harbor. Such a their dirt voice. Madelines are to die for. Just pick a spot on their beautiful terrace and enjoy a good book or a romantic evening with that special someone. Yeah, see? That's right, John John. Huh. I bet whatever they keep in their wallets, by the end of the day, the shark sends his goons to clean them out when they leave. Am I right? Well, yeah, but that's just his style, see? I bet it is. Where is Flint? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? Uh... I don't know. 
ask. No, that. I'm just asking because I started a barbershop quartet, and I need a strong baritone, but also someone that can take the lead if necessary. For these types of situations, you need someone that has a wider range. Shut up, Tommy Young. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. Yeah, why are they so, here? Why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus. How about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone oh. would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him so are much dialogue. Away. He'll talk what? to me. Why'd you escape the city? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's uh -huh. so relaxing. Sure. And it's your escape so had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Uh -huh. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Oh. You remember, he's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can so on our side there. What do you know about it? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. A dup -dup. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. Oh, so deep! What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful <coughs> as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. All right, we can sure get to the parents' thing. room, There man. you go. Now, don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. The, uh, isn't this Flint's room? So why are these two in Flint's room for? It makes no sense, at least to me. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I haven't been listening. Who knows? Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So... Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. 
Hey, I'm sure to bet the screen's about to go crazy again. Oh no. Alright. Uh, key. Wait, no, 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 don't do that. Hold on. Let's ask her. I don't think so. God damn it. I'm sure at one point Teddy said he could ask her about the cloth. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. We're gonna go in there, there's gonna be a massive dildo on the table. I like how the first thing I look for is a dildo on the table as well. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Oh god, it's 20 minutes into this video already, so... <laughs> I'm gonna end it here, guys. If you like the video, go click the like and uh, subscribe to me for more. Bye-bye. Won it in a jewel at dawn? What kind of fucked up world do we live in? I bet it's old. That's something one would have lying around in a cardboard box.